Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, dear winners of the Patterson Literary Fund Awards, thank you for the invitation to join you tonight. Today we celebrate the talents of our award-winning authors. And it is also important to recognize the invaluable work of the Patterson Literary Fund, a Canadian institution with Ukrainian roots and global reach. The fund was created by the late Ukrainian-Canadian philanthropist Stanley Patterson, born Bogdan Patik. His life story embodied the harrowing experiences of many East European emigres who escaped persecution and war, finding home and freedom in Canada. I congratulate all the winners of this year's literary award. Your achievements are a testament to your talent, dedication, and the impact your work has on the world of literature. Your books not only raise public awareness about Ukraine, its history, our people, and our struggle, but also defeat the false narratives of Russian propaganda. Anne Applebaum said that it's time to prepare for Ukrainian victory. And I agree with you, dear Anne, and thank you for your statement of realism that the war will end when and only when the Russians realized it was a mistake to begin with. Ukraine and Canada are closely interlinked and our bond is unique. Canada was among the first countries to recognize Ukraine's independence and the Holodomor genocide. This is part of our shared history. Canada has provided essential assistance to Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. Canadian support includes political, financial, humanitarian aid and sanctions against Russia. We are grateful to Canada for its support. Dear friends, in 2022, Russia not only invaded Ukrainian territory, but also sought to erase Ukrainian culture and identity. Therefore, the Patterson Literary Fund's dedicated work in popularizing Ukrainian literature is invaluable today. In an era where cultural exchange is more important than ever, the Peterson Literary Fund has been instrumental in bridging the gap between our rich literary heritage and the global audience. By supporting translations, organizing literary events, providing grant funds, and fostering collaborations with international publishers, the fund has been a catalyst for introducing Ukrainian literary treasures to readers worldwide. The Ukrainian language and literature voice a unique message of resistance and resilience worldwide. This is the language of humanity, as opposed to aggression. This is the language of culture, as opposed to modern barbarism. As we applaud the winners of the Patterson Literary Fund Awards today, let me also express our gratitude to the fund's leadership, Lesa Shemko, and her unwavering dedication to the cause of literature. I also thank the distinguished jurors of the Patterson Literary Fund for their hard work and deliberations in selecting this year's winners. And finally, my gratitude goes to the BCU Foundation for its partnership and funding projects promoting the rich Ukrainian-Canadian cultural identity. I sincerely welcome the launch of a new project, the Journey for Truth project, the untold stories of Russian crimes. The whole world should know about Russia's barbarism in Ukraine. Russia bombs, destroys, and commits atrocities. Russia is evil, and it must be defeated. So while Russia speaks the language of aggression and war, we are speaking the language of art, history, literature, and culture. Let the language of humanity be heard. Dear friends, I thank all of you for working together to strengthen the Ukrainian-Canadian partnership and our joint determination to restore a just and lasting peace in Ukraine. I sincerely thank everyone involved for supporting Ukraine. May the words of Ukrainian authors continue to resonate and captivate hearts worldwide. Thank you. And Slava Ukraini.